Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Don't pay any attention to that very loud hum in the background. That's my miner running uh, library coin. So I've uh, had some people ask me about that, so I'm going to do it just a, a episode on how to how to mine this coin, which is good to learn because it's going to teach you how to mine anything, pretty much. It's they're pretty much all the same. Anyway, we had a really, really exciting day in library coin. I actually was long 20 bitcoins worth of this today. Uh, I started buying in, you know, I did the first video and I was surprised. I didn't think that, well, I don't think it was my buying because the volume was enormous, but a lot of people had the same idea. I did apparently at the same time of course the chart itself was forming a, a pennant a rising pennant and so it was ready for breakout I'm sure my buying contributed to it so I did dump almost all of my library coins uh, here at the top and I'm scaling back into a position you can see I have about 42,000 I have about 4.4 Bitcoin worth I, I expect to accumulate a lot more but it was just a too profitable of an opportunity in such a short amount of time to not uh, take a big profit. So I am scaling back in here. I think this is probably going to be the bottom. I hope nobody got dumped on or got shaken out of their position because of that. Uh, again, I'm looking at this for long term. So let's start off with the library client. Uh, someone had asked about getting started because it's in beta so if you download this and let me show you the site um, you go to github and I'll put all these links in the description you go to github library uh, library app and then uh, most of you are probably gonna run Windows so you go down here and uh, under this installing section here you got Windows Mac and Debian so uh, I just did the one I have is the latest Windows you, you download it install it's pretty straightforward uh, once you install it though it's going to ask for an email address uh, want you to sign up you put in your email address and then it's going to email you uh, your invitation to get into the open beta but apparently the list is full so it doesn't send you an email so there's another button that you click on right after that saying didn't receive my email and at that point it will give you a address like a Bitcoin address a long uh, cryptographic address and that's the address that you need to send one library coin to so once you have that address post that address in chat and I will send one library coin to that address and that will unlock this client so this client is really interesting. Uh, it has not a lot of stuff right now, and it's not working exactly the way it's supposed to. If you click on, uh, say, this movie, almost everything's free, but uh, the the streaming doesn't seem to be working. It says it's going to be 15 or 20 seconds. I saw a guy demonstrate it, and it was working at a time. I think there's some bugs, and it's not it's not working right now. But it does download. Uh, to a download folder you can download and watch the stuff so that part of it's working right now the streaming part is not working um, so you can see here if you go up to this little icon here you can see 4.3 that's the balance in this I basically sent one uh, library credit to get this wallet unlocked I haven't transferred anything from from Poloniex over to this wallet yet except for the one to unlock it. The rest of this is the mining that I did and um, so I'm gonna briefly go over that and show you how that works. Basically uh, you're gonna have one of two uh, types of video cards. You're either gonna have an AMD video card in your computer or you're gonna have uh, NVIDIA video card. Uh, you, you really want to have a separate GPU so it's normally for people who have a gaming machine in this machine I actually have uh, two GP, GPUs linked by SLI so I'm running dual video cards and this is my gaming machine and uh, so it's perfectly set up for mining certain kinds of coins especially GPU based uh, coins that you mine so the first article here is how to mine library with an NVIDIA GPU on Windows it takes you through all the steps of how uh, what you need to do, how to get 
um, the miner installed. Now you're going to download CC Miner. That's the program for uh, to do the NVIDIA. That's the one I'm running is CC Miner. It goes through, shows you how to sign up a Supernova account. That's the mining pool site. You, you don't want to mine by yourself because uh, you're unlikely to get any rewards. You mine part of a, as part of a pool. This is a command that you're going to use. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll link it. Uh, the other one that you want to use if you have an AMD based GPU is you want to just watch this video here. This is how to mine library coins for dummies and it gives you all the links. So you got to install Java first then this one uses SG Miner and it's very similar to CC Miner. Uh, you have to download a file, uh, some files to uh, uh, get that working and then your Supernova account but he explains it all in this uh, 23 minute video it's perfectly explained line by line so you're going to end up with a supernova account and this is where you this is the mining pool site so in both of those uh, it explains how to sign up but basically I signed up as brother John F and this is the dashboard and you can see the mining that I'm doing uh, if we go to, you can go to my account. Uh, this is where you create your workers. If we go to transactions, you can see that I'm mining right now. These, here's the unconfirmed transactions. Uh, I set this to send me my coins every 0.1. Uh, right now, library coin is not really profitable to mine because I think the coin's worth about maybe 20 cents and you end up mining maybe four a day if you're lucky and that's with me running dual GPUs so um, but there are a lot of coins that are more profitable out there and you get the gist of how the, the thing works so if you want to get into mining it's kinda cool so let me show you the uh, the miner here it's basically command line so you just have to bring up a uh, I'll do it from scratch so you can see it you basically bring up a uh, command prompt and it's going to be at the default location so if you're familiar with DOS you have to do the CD command change directory to get to the folder wherever you installed your miner for me I have um, let me find it here I have a a file that I've created that has that information so the uh, area where it's located is here so if I just go in and do a change directory oops change directory space that location that takes me to the location and this is the command you're going to use ccminer.exe dash o you don't need to know what all this stuff is and then the port you have a username this is going to be custom for you it, it did have a password but I don't think you need a password anymore so you just take this command uh, again yours is going to be different based on your uh, username at, at Supernova which they'll walk you through that in the video or the article you paste it in and you hit enter and you can see it says stratum difficulty so it's uh, it's using this uh, uh, algorithm to determine uh, how difficult it is what what your GPUs are capable of. So you can see I, I have a, a GPU GPU 0 and a GPU 1 and those two uh, mine independently uh, where it says accepted uh, one of one that means that it, uh, it it mines something and you can see it's just running GPU 0. I haven't seen GPU 1 come in yet. Um, and again, I haven't tweaked this at all. Uh, I'm running SLI on my video card, so basically uh, there's GPU 1 coming in. So I'm running uh, SLI, which means that I have both video cards linked together. Uh, they're basically running as, as kind of one video card. I think these are both 2 gig video cards, so I'm running 4 gigs total. Uh, this is an older machine. I'm sure the newer they have newer 8 gig video cards. That, I'm sure that would uh, be a lot more efficient. So at this point, I don't think that it really is paying for itself, but it is kind of interesting that you can do this and uh, learn how to mine. It's really fairly straightforward. Uh, so I'm just going to let this run. 
Um, let's get back to the the market here. Uh, well, you can see it's, it's starting to rally. I bought in at so I started sampling this market after I had dumped. I started buying all the way back up at uh, tiny amounts at 120, 116, 117, 109. Then my last buy was at 104, and it looks like it may have bottomed out around there. So, trying to just kind of scale in around this. I do believe that this is a long term bullish formation. I don't think that this is going to turn around and go down. Uh, but I think it's going to turn around and, and go up again, uh, especially because technically, if you look at it, it made a new high right there. It broke out above that high. Now, some of the stronger coins, they just keep running. This one didn't. This one kind of corrected. I'm sure part of it was me taking profits. I took profits when I saw the coin weaken. As soon as the price started to weaken, I just dumped. I dumped some, and then it, it weakened more, and I dumped almost all of it because it just wasn't performing correctly. So uh, we have a very interesting day in the market today. Library was, was one of the big returners, and, uh, but there were other coins. Of course, I've been playing Bytecoin. This has been absolutely crazy ride here. I got in at 37, and believe it or not, I, uh, I dumped out of it because I had to go to bed, and it took off overnight. I've got in and out of it, but I was long this coin at 37, and you can see that it's all the way up at... Uh, 204. Now the pattern that I've noticed and I've been trading fairly consistently uh, also another big mover today is Doge and you can see that it's uh, doubled from where it was yesterday pretty much. So a big pattern that I've noticed in my trading that I want to let you know about if you're interested in trading this pattern is that you can uh, you can take these prices and and or you can take these all these different coins and you can organize them by price this is price in Bitcoin and the pattern that I've noticed is when you take these and put them by lowest price uh, these coins that have a low price have have been performing really been performing um, Bitcoin has been crazy Dogecoin is taken off just today Sia coin had been running for the last several days. You can see that uh, it started off from around 80 and ran all the way up to 560. Uh, Burst was one that I played, and it ran from 100. Uh, so it, it seems like there's a pattern of people buying these super cheap coins. Digital Bytes, this one is phenomenal. It went from about 111 to 900 over the course of the last few days. Uh, so you can see some here that may actually perform. Folding coin has not yet had a really big move, so that may be coming. Uh, Burst has had a big move and corrected and may actually turn around and follow up. So keep an eye on those coins. Um, Library coin is not one of those as far as having a low price you can see at 11,000 that's not that low now that's again that's neither here nor there because the price uh, you have to you have to look at the price and you also have to look at the number of coins that are out there so obviously a coin that has very low number of coins out there is going to be high priced uh, you can see I think there was one called infinite coin um, but I mean the top here is GNO uh, it's actually higher than Ethereum. It's basically a tenth of a Bitcoin in value, whereas these these little tiny coins are like you know fractions of a Bitcoin. So keep an eye on these low low price coins. That seems to be where the action is. Uh, a lot of crazy action. So I'm going to be trying to play the bounce in library. Um, I think it's going up longer term. I think we're going to go quite a bit higher. I'm not yet convinced that this correction is over. If this correction follows the pattern of previous corrections, like this correction here, then it's got a long ways down to go. I certainly haven't put in a full position on it. But it may bounce from here because it made a new high. So keep an eye on that. Now when you're uh, 
when you're using this uh, library application, this is while it is kind of a lot different than other coin wallets because this has the the video content right there in the wallet but uh, if you go to this icon you can see that you still have the the traditional send receive that you have in any other wallet and uh, you can generate new addresses there's also rewards here so you can claim your reward I'm not sure how this first nickel work because I I try to claim it and it says this reward requires a confirmed email address. I think that means that you have to receive your invite for the beta and then respond from that email address to get these 20. And since they're not inviting people to the beta, the only way to get in right now is to to deposit that one uh, library coin to your wallet. Uh, that's the only way to get in. So make sure that if you do this uh, and you're you want to get this library wallet working post that library address in the member chat and I will send one library coin to each of you that posts that and that will unlock your your library um, or the other thing that you could do is you could set up the miner and uh, you would end up sit, just send uh, set your supernova account up to send um, I think it's under earnings here let me make sure no actually I think it's under edit account so under your edit account uh, that payment address you just set that payment address and you set that automatic payment threshold you could just set that at one and once you've uh, mined one library coin it will send it to your wallet and uh, it will unlock that wallet so you can do it that way as well um, either throw one in the chat and I'll send you one or you can mine it uh, so that's uh, pretty much it for library coin I'm gonna keep an eye on this one I really like the idea there's a lot to it and uh, if this one doesn't succeed I think this idea will succeed it's just like Bitcoin uh, no one really knew if Bitcoin would succeed but we knew that the idea would succeed and we can see that there's all these other uh, al alternate cryptocurrencies coming out there uh, and again the rush into these is enormous uh, let's pull up world coin index um, well it doesn't have it doesn't have the uh, it alternates between altcoin volume and um, and total crypto cap but I think the cap is almost 70 billion and if you remember I predicted 100 billion by the end of the year I think we're gonna far surpass that uh, it's absolutely crazy. So the rest of my account right now is in USDT. Uh, Bitcoin is taking off. I have a ton of coins over at Coinbase waiting to get them off. I can't get them off because uh, of the withdrawal limits. So I'm long Bitcoin in my Coinbase account. I'm flat in USDT in my Poloniex account. But uh, I'm accumulating library coin in the Poloniex account. And we'll talk to you next time.